So in this video, I'll continue the discussion on parallel and transformers. In this case, well, I'll give a simple example of when you have the transformers have different NVA ratings, impedances, and different terms of ratios. So just kind of example 22 NVA, the impedance is 7.91%, uh, the inhibitor's resistance, reactance, Transformer one, we assume kind of similar to part four of parallel transformers. So it has a de-energized tap changer and the taps or the tap or de-energized tap changer is set one tap above nominal. So 2.5% above nominal. Transformer two is 14 NVA with the impedance is 7.01%. Here's the resistance reactance. Transformer 2 also has a de-energized tap changer, but it's set at nominal tap. So, you know, again, uh, you know, if you want more details on the equation and other things, you can go to the Bloom book. It's a, it's a great resource. So, same kind of calculation. You know, the difference in voltage divided by kind of the total impedance that the transformers in parallel will see, you know. So then, so this is just percent resistance of transformer one. Then you take resistance two of transformer two. You subject it to the NVA ratio of the two transformers. You do the same thing for reactants. Then you square the entire a quantity here then you take <coughs> the square root of the entire thing so again you just plug the numbers and you get like 13.21 percent if we skip the detailed kind of equation just use the approximation method so difference in voltage divided by the magnitude of impedance or a transformer one impedance plus MVA ratio times magnitude of, the magnitude of transformer one imp uh, transformer two impedance. So you just plug in the numbers. So the voltage difference is just 2.5 because one of them is at nominal, the other one is at 2.5% 2, 2 above nominal. So then you just plug in the numbers basically And so you get kind of similar results. So, so then what you can do, you can take, so 22 plus 14, that's uh, 36 MVA, total capacity of the parallel transformers. So you take 13.21% of that, that's how much Cir uh, circulating, you know, or how much MVA will be caused by the circulating current, you know, due to the tap mismatch. And that's before you, you even load the transformer. So, you know, and as stated in uh, part four, circulating current will, could cause overheating, you know, so, so it's important to, you know, and uh, make sure that, you know, you're not going to cause overheating. You're not going to overload one of the transformers above its uh, rating. In a previous uh, video, I talked about, you know, when you have like same ratio, however, you have different MVA or different impedance, you know, so there are some, you have to worry about that too. So the Unequal ratio turns ratios just aggravates the the overload situation, you know. So it's very critical to to check that, you know, anytime you want to uh, parallel transformers. Thank you.